The new Google Stitch update is insane, and it's completely free. The new Google Stitch update just dropped, and I'm telling you right now, this is going to change everything. Google just gave us the power to build apps in minutes without coding. You type what you want and boom, you get a working app design. This tool is 100% free right now and most people have no idea it even exists. I'm about to show you exactly how this works and why you need to start using this today. This is a full app builder that works with simple words. Let me tell you what happened. Google officially launched this at their I.O. conference in May 2025. They announced it as part of their developer keynote alongside other major AI updates. But here's the thing that most people don't realize. While it was officially announced, it got overshadowed by all the other big AI announcements that they made that day. Most people focused on the flashier stuff and completely missed this game changer. And just yesterday, Google made it even more powerful. They switched to Gemini 2.5 Pro experimental mode by default. Users preferred these results three times more than the standard mode. Everything is now generated with Gemini 2.5 Pro, making the output more creative and much easier to edit. But that's not all. They just shipped something called Canvas. This is huge. It lets you see your entire user flow at once. Perfect for tracking component state and ensuring design consistency across multiple screens. I'm going to walk you through exactly what this tool does, how it works, why it's free, and most importantly, how you can use it to make money right now. But first, let me show you something that's going to blow your mind. You ready for this? You can literally type mobile app dream journal that uses AI to analyze your dream entries, identify recurring themes and symbols, and provide you with personalized insights into your subconscious mind. And Stitch will build you a complete app design in under two minutes. Not just a mock-up, a real working interface with all the screens, buttons, colors, and layouts you need. Then it gives you the actual code to make it work. Now, let me show you exactly how to access this and start making money. This example came straight from Google's official account. They showed the entire planning interface with multiple different features, date idea generation with input preferences, idea list and voting system, date night confirmation to finalize choices, calendar integration to add dates to shared calendars, and profile management for user preferences. All of that from one simple sentence. This is powered by Google's newest AI called Gemini 2.5 Pro, the same AI that's beating every other model out there right now. Google took this massive brain and taught it how to design apps, and the results are insane. But here's where it gets even better. You don't need to know how to code, you don't need design skills, you just need to know how to type. That is it. If you can send a text message, you can build an app with Stitch. I tested this myself using another example from Google's official account. I told it to design a weekend activity platform for weekend warriors who always want something new to do on the weekend. I wanted an adventurous and modern interface with an energetic color palette like deep teal, sunny orange, and crisp off-white. I wanted a hero section with a dynamic featured adventures carousel showcasing stunning photography and short video clips of local activities. I asked for an activity explorer with advanced filter systems for activity type, budget sliders, location-based mapping, and filters for intensity level and group size. Within 90 seconds, I had multiple versions to choose from. Each one looked like something a professional designer spent weeks making. Now, you might be thinking, this sounds too good to be true. And I thought the same thing. So I dug deeper, I spent hours testing every feature, I pushed it to its limits, and I'm going to tell you exactly what works, what doesn't, and how to use this the right way. First thing you need to know is how to access it. You go to stitch.withgoogle.com. That's it. Sign in with your Google account and you are ready to go. No downloads, no setup, no credit card required. Here's what's changed recently. Google now uses Gemini 2.5 Pro experimental mode by default because users preferred the results three times more than standard mode. This means every decision you create now gets the premium AI treatment automatically. You used to choose between two modes, and now it's all powered by the best version. You get higher quality designs that are more creative and much easier to edit. Here's what most people don't understand about this tool. It's not just for making apps. You can use it for building websites, landing pages, dashboards, admin panels, anything with a user interface. I've seen people make e-commerce sites, booking systems, even complex business dashboards. But let me tell you the real secret. The money isn't in building the apps yourself. 
The money is in offering this as a service. Think about how many small businesses need apps but can't afford developers. Now, you can offer them professional app design for a fraction of the cost. I know what you're thinking, how good can these designs really be? Let me break down exactly what Stitch gives you when you create something. You get a full visual design, colors, fonts, layouts, spacing, everything styled ready to go. You get working HTML and CSS code. This isn't messy code either. It's clean, organized, and ready for developers to use. You can export everything directly to Figma, and this means that you can hand it off to your team or make additional changes. But here's the part that really got my attention. You can upload images and it will recreate them as working designs. Got a sketch on paper? Take a photo and upload it. Have a screenshot of an app you like? Upload it and Stitch will make something similar. This opens up so many possibilities. Now, let me tell you about the business opportunities here because this is where things start to get really interesting. Web design agencies are already using this to speed up their workflow. This cuts their design time by 70%. Freelancers are offering rapid prototyping services. They take client ideas and turn them into working mockups in hours instead of weeks. They're charging the same rates but delivering much faster. App development companies are using this for client presentations, so instead of explaining what the app will look like, they can show working designs on the first meeting. This increases their close rate significantly. But let's talk about the limitations because I want to be honest with you. This tool, it's not perfect, and there are things that you need to know before you dive in. Like, the Canvas feature is brand new, so it might have some bugs. The designs can sometimes look basic, like they're clean and functional, but they won't win any design awards and it also is currently only available in English. But here is why none of that matters. This tool is free, plus it's from Google, so you know that it's not going anywhere. You can export to Figma for final touches, and even if you're not a designer, you can make basic changes in Figma to personalize the design further. Test the HTML code, copy the code and paste it into a simple HTML file, see how it looks in a real browser, and make sure everything works properly. Now, recent updates prove that they're investing more, not less. The Canvas feature and Gemini 2.5 Pro upgrade show that this is a priority project for Google. But even if they do start charging eventually, you will have learned the skills and processes while it was free. That knowledge transfers to other similar tools. This is what I think is the real game changer. This isn't just a tool for designers and developers. This is a tool for entrepreneurs, marketers, content creators, Anyone who has ideas that they want to turn into reality, the ones who are already using it are moving faster than ever. They're testing ideas quicker, getting feedback sooner, iterating based on real user input instead of assumptions. Instead of spending weeks on designs, you can have working prototypes in days. Instead of hiring a developer to create a simple dashboard for tracking team performance, you can create the design in Stitch and use it to communicate exactly what you want for your team. This is the future. AI isn't going to replace designers and developers, but people who use AI to enhance their work are going to replace people who don't. If this video helped you understand Google Stitch and its potential, please hit that like button and subscribe for more AI updates. I read every comment, so do let me know what you create with this tool. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.